In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to start your very first CCNA lab at your house with a very little cost. You can use programs like a Cisco Packet Tracer or other programs to practice configuring in a Cisco environment, but it is not equal to get your hands on with a Cisco uh, real switch. This switch is a Cisco 3750. I bought this switch uh, in eBay for around 50 to 60 dollars. But if you try to get a, a latest Cisco switch, it will cost you thousands of dollars. This is a real way you can get into a, a switch and start to configure it. So you see, this is one of the access switch and I bought and the uh, access switch so this is you can see the size is different than this one this is a little a bigger size switch because of the poe it has the more power to provide to the poe devices that's why it's a little bigger and heavier this is a cisco 3750 series switch but it is not a poe so i bought another one so you can practice how to configure um, stacking in a cisco environment and this is the another one this is i bought for 75 dollars with all the optics on it this is a cisco uh, catalyst 3750 a series of fiber switch uh, it is a layer 3 switch e version uh, enhanced version of the switch that can do routing also you can use this as a, a aggregation switch or a routing aggregation plus routing so let's uh, power up a switch here and try to get into the CLI access and then uh, play around uh, with some commands so you you know how to prepare for the CCNA exam using real switch it's really helpful I am a CCNA CCNP certified what I'm going to uh, what I'm planning to do I'm, I want to build a a lab in my uh, house so i'm uh, planning to buy a couple of more switches and uh, also i want to show you another thing i bought this one this is a cisco asa 5505 series firewall i bought this for 25 dollars can you believe it so it's you can this way you can um, really get uh, your hands on a cisco real firewall and start practicing how to configure it all right so let's uh, power up uh, this switch and uh, practice some commands so with regard to cisco switches there is no on off switch and then we just plug that into the power yes it is booting now Now you can see the switch uh, started uh, here, the operating system started and now asking to whether initialize uh, the configuration through dialog box or through CLI. Because this is a factory restored switch, that's why it is asking you like it is a brand new switch. I will say no, I don't want a dialog box, I want to go to the CLI and type enable, this is an enable mode. And then you can type question mark it will give you all the possible commands that you can go into and then let's see whether you want to go to configure um, configure right and it will give you all the option within configuration let's take the the show and then you can see a ton of show commands you can execute on this switch is based on uh, the functions of the switch it will show you all the possible command come under the command so you don't have to remember all the commands you can just use the uh, command help this way uh, to get to the bottom of all the commands that you need say you want to Let's look at here. I want to see the the environment, the fan and all those things in the switch, the system components. Let's see inventory. 
So you see here, I can see inventory or interfaces. Show, show inventory. Let's see any other command bin, beneath this. Okay, and uh, not that many here. So let's try here, show inventory. So it will show you what are the inventory on the switches, right? You can see this is a PS switch, a power a POE switch, and it gives you the serial number, and it gives you the, the interfaces that's come under the inventory. In here, I have a two optics, so it is showing me the optics information if you see like a thousand base sx sfp and these two so these are the components uh, the hardware components in this switch say let's look at show version this is a very useful command uh, so it doesn't have any other sub commands it's just the show version command so it can show you all the details of this operating system version you can see here all the operating system what is in the flash and you can see here all the inventory in this the hardware inventory in the switch right so let's go to the uh, show int show interface let's do show int show in status so what uh, happened here if you see here it says 7 0 10 you know all the interfaces 48 interfaces are under server because this switch was pulled out from a stack it was a seventh slot in the stack that's why this is showing you 7 0 20 but if it is a brand new switch it will be showing you 1 0 25 1 0 26 something like that uh, hope this video helpful uh, please do subscribe and like this video and don't forget to comment so i know what video you need next all right thanks bye